Our new video is for those who love magic and adventures. If you want to let fairy tales into your life, say this magical spell. Lalaloo! Hurry up to the class! It's potions on schedule and we can't be late! Otherwise, Professor Snape will make us stay after the class! Who left vials without labels? So, how do I tell Moondust from Unicorn Horn now? I only know that you can't taste the agents! Luna! Did you read the last article in the Sunday Prophet? They say there is a polyjuice potion recipe, and it looks like we have all the ingredients for it. We can try making our own. Harry, that's a wrong vial. Do you want to turn us into dust? Bring two ounces of fang geranium to boil. Harry, look, it seems like we are doing it right. We can get to powdered griffin cloth. Add some mandrake root. Oh, hello guys. What are you cooking? Let me help you. Ron, what have you done? I've done it a thousand times. I'll fix it up. Ron, are you out of your mind? Stop swinging your wand around right in front of my face. You know it may not end well. Whoops! I can't believe what I'm seeing! You turned Luna into a mouse! What are we supposed to do now? It seems that we'll have to go to Diagon Alley in order to find a way to make Luna look the same. Apparently, our friend is concerned with cheese more than a reverse spell. The way of a magician doesn't start with potions. It starts with an invitation to the School of Wizardry and Witchcraft. We just have to write a letter of invitation. Only a true magician will be able to read it. However, it seems like this handwriting belongs to a doctor and not Dumbledore. Put the letter into an envelope and seal it with a stamp. Done! Owls, wake up! It's night already. Time to deliver the letters. A dark night, a fog, swings of wings, and hooting! The Owl Post Office is open! The owls come from the whole neighborhood to go back to their new owners. Let's make a little fluffy owl. We'll need an old hair tie. We'll cut two pom-poms off it. Join the pom-poms together with hot glue and cut paws out of felt. Fasten them with hot glue. Attach eyes, then cut a little triangular beak out of felt. Make lashes out of feathers and the bird is done! Lesson 1. Conjure up some supplies. We'll need an empty bowl, a glass of warm water, white glue, and paper. Tear paper into little pieces. Add some warm water and more glue so the mass is sticky and fastens things well. Stir it and let it sit for a few hours so it becomes softer. We'll need two sheets of cardboard. We'll cut silhouettes of windows and doors in it. Sketch out the cardboard and cut out windows with a modeling knife. Score the arch of the piece slightly away from the center. This way the walls will stand still. Take the paper mass and shape little bricks. Start building the wall. When you are done with one half, Get down to the arch using bigger bricks. Use thin stripes of wood veneer for the doors and the windows. Keep attaching paper bricks all over the surface of the cardboard. Build a textured ancient wall brick after brick. 
In order to make it faster, take a magic wand and say the spell, Jiminio! If it doesn't work, ask your friends to help. What if someone is a real magician? Meanwhile, we'll take care of the street stuff. We need it to create the vibe. In order to DIY street lamps, we'll need cardboard and matches. First of all, cut cardboard into little squares so they are of different sizes. Big, medium, and very small. Then, cut the fire starter off a match with scissors and fasten the stands in the corners of a cardboard piece. Attach cardboard on top and add one more square on both sides of the lamp. Attach a copper wire as loops. Coat it with black acrylic paint. Add light strokes of bronze on top. Put a string of lights into the lamp. DIY wooden barrels. Attach a strip of cardboard to the cap using hot glue. Then fasten the narrow strips of wood all around the cap. Add a strip of cardboard to the top and the bottom. Make the bottom and the lid out of a round piece of cardboard. Decorate the rims of the barrels with twine. Wow! Let's DIY more stuff for young magicians. A Nimbus 2000 broom. We take a broom we prepared beforehand and make it textured using hot glue. Color it with brown acrylic paint when the glue hardens. Write the name of the broom, Nimbus 2000, and shade it with bronze. The rooms are done, and now we just have to decide which faculty will be the winner of the Quidditch competition. Let's make shop signs. For this, we will need cardboard, wooden veneer, cut a piece out of cardboard and wood. Join together. Poke a hole with an awl and pass through a copper wire. We can hang the sign using a skewer. Very little is left to do. Sign the pointers. Let's make a miniature newspaper. For this, we need a mini printed picture of a newspaper. Cut it out and fold. I hope in this issue there will be a few spells or at least a crossword. Time to go to Hogwarts. Let's find the platform nine and three quarters. Once you bought all the magical supplies and put them into your cart, go through the wall to get to the platform. Each September, a Hogwarts Express leaves it. It goes to the Hogsmeade station. Unload the cart with school supplies. We'll need potion books, ink and feathers, brooms, and owls. The train is already rushing at full speed and it's about to come to the platform. Put the supplies into the carriage. You need to hurry up. You can't be late to the first class. Take a foam rubber sponge, a container for paint, and a brush. Mix brown and green acrylic paint. Dip a sponge into the paint and get down to painting the walls, the doors, and the windows. Put two walls together so there's an alley in the gap. Hot glue 10 inch wooden sticks inside the building. Then fasten the walls to a sheet of fiberboard using hot glue. Cover the holes in the windows with sheets of yellow paper. Make a cobbled road with decorative stones and color it with acrylic paint. Take cardboard and faux leather. Glue it to both sides. Decorate with printed books. Set up the lamps in the hollows. Now even muggles won't be scared to walk down our alley. Install the lights inside and turn on the light in the alley. Make a bridge out of cardboard and wooden veneer. We'll coat it with acrylic paint and set up in the alley. Hang the shop signs. Set up little books in the shop windows. Add a wooden barrel and decorate with fake moss. Congratulations! You completed the course of a young magician! 
Now you will definitely mesmerize everyone with your skills and ingenuity. If you don't want to miss any new magic classes, subscribe to Lalaloo and don't forget to click on the bell. Mischief managed!